Or are we on? <clears throat> How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be an exciting Saturday. The San Diego Union Tribune Festival of Books is back. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Along with Bengals co-founder, singer, songwriter, guitarist, lovely, talented Susanna Hoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, Susanna Hoffs in the house. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. That, I didn't think we were going to air that clip of that video, and I kid you not, this isn't a fake TV conversation. When it popped up, I gasped. I went back, oh, and I put my head, I was like, oh my God. Um, I'm an 80s kid, so that should tell you all you need to know, right, Susanna? I love seeing that. It's so fun revisiting that time. Uh, what was that like for you? Because, look, I was a kid in the 80s, and, and then when the Bengals came out, and then you, I remember the Eternal Flame video is the one that got me, because there's a part where you're, like, looking at the camera, and then you, like, look away or walk like, an, I don't know what that was. What was that time like for you? Um, it was a heady, exciting time. I mean, we were a scrappy band that I found my bandmates through, you know, an ad in the newspaper that someone had posted and it led me to Vicki and Debbie Peterson and, um, you know, suddenly we're writing songs and we had no idea if our music would connect with the public and then suddenly it did and we were touring the world and rocking out on yeah. stage and it was wonderful writing songs I, I kid you not i think somewhere in a box in my garage i still have my smash hits magazine with the bangles on it from like 1986. Oh, fantastic. I, I know. I oh, have it in a box somewhere too. Do you really? Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. T tell me that this, you know, you, you took a break from songwriting and you wrote a novel, which is kind of cool yes. because it's still, you're still writing. It's just kind of different avenue, right? What was that all about? Um, well, I've been a lifelong reader. I've always had my head in a book. I love nothing more than disappearing into fiction, whether it's in a, a, a novel or a film. And one day I just had this light bulb moment. I, I wanted to write a novel my entire life. And I thought, if not now, when? And I just took the plunge. And um, when I was sort of conceiving of the novel, I thought, well, I, I think the protagonist could be someone who's been in the entertainment business. And then mm. I realized, well, what if you, I make her a musician? Because it's something that I've experienced um, uh, the life of a musician and also what it's like to be in the music business, which are two very different things. But um, for me, music is always the beginning, middle and end of every day. And it, it was so fun to write um, a, a, a fictional story of this protagonist that I grew to love and all the characters that I invented for the book, you know, really, you know, became like real friends. <laughs> you know, I'd hear them talking as I developed my practice of writing the novel, I was totally self-taught just based on being a reader my whole life. Um, I realized that I would I would go on a walk and I'd listen to my playlist that I do uh, listen to on my walks. Yeah. And all of a sudden my characters would just start talking to me oh, and wow. I'd sort of go on to, to stop walking and, and text myself what they were saying. So it sort of evolved very organically. Um, and but then it was just so wonderful to see to have a, a, all these readers enjoying the book and yeah. Little Brown p published it and it, it's just been a, this unexpected joyous journey. So you mentioned uh, that Jane is the main character, entertainment industry, this and that. How much of your experiences, and I mean it's a work of fiction, but how much of that do you kind of incorporate into the character and then into all your other uh, characters that are having conversations uh, with each other in your head when you're out for a walk? Well, much of the book is actually, not to give a spoiler, set in Oxford. Uh, okay. Jane Start, the protagonist, meets a, a handsome stranger on a plane uh, randomly. And he turns out, it turns out he's an Oxford professor of literature. So did I just lose you? No, I'm sure. here. I'm here. Oh, sorry. The, the, my picture went out. But as long as you can see me, I'm good. Yes. Um, so, uh, so she meets this mysterious stranger. And of course, she falls head of her heels in love with him and finds herself living in Oxford, wow. UK. And um, so, yeah, so I I had to invent loads of characters, loads of fun British uh, sort of stuffy academic types. And Jane Starr has a wonderful music manager named Pippa, who's her best friend. So there's a lot of, um, you know, really interesting, uh, I you know, it's a chance to tell a story from a definitely strong female point of view on the music business, 
on, you know, sexism, on it just the, the female point of view really drove the story. I really loved how Jane would think things through for herself. And and she does find redemption. Ultimately, she she finds her voice. She finally. Well, I don't want to give too much away, no, but no spoilers. You know, no she's, spoilers she's, she's yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's going to be great because uh, you're going to be here this weekend. Yeah. You know, I was like, can Susanna come in the studio so I can meet her? But they're like, no, nah, it's probably best to keep you at a distance and do it this way. <laughs> but that, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. They're smart. Uh, the San Diego Union Tribune's seventh annual Festival of Books is happening Saturday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. at the University of San Diego. It is a free event for book lovers out there. Susanna, I was an English major at USC. I took Spanish literature. Fantastic. I took English literature. I took it all. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, uh, I appreciate it. And find that Smash Hits cover, maybe. You know. Oh, yeah, it's in the box. It's in the, it's it's in the in box the, somewhere. It's in the archival box, yeah. Uh, what a pleasure talking to you. Have a great event this weekend, and thank you for all the thank music you. and everything uh, back uh, during my growing up time. Awkwardly saying goodbye. Susanna, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Thank okay. you so much. Bye. Uh, coming up, uh, see, uh, I can't. I mean, Susanna Hoffs. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> Understand? Do you feel the same? It is National uh, Thrift Store Day. We have another place you can save on back to school supplies. And then listen to this. And eternal flame, say my name. Sunshine's day.